Okay, good morning, class. So uh, today we're looking at the homework that I've given you for, for today. I've given you yesterday. It was 19 and 11 from exercise 9.1. Okay, please settle down. So given circles in the O with parallel points A, B and C, D. E, O, F is a straight line. Uh, A, E is equal to E, B. A, B is 14 units. So A, B is 14 units. And E, F is, is the whole length here, E, F from D to D is uh, 39 units. OC is 25, which means to say all the radii is going to be 25. Okay, so that will also be 25. Uh, OA. The question says prove that if 1 is equal to 90. If 1 is equal to 90. Okay, so people we know, because these lines are equal, AE is equal to EB. Not so? Yes. So E1 has to be 90 degrees. Why? By well, center from center to chords, perpendicular to chords. So I can say OE is perpendicular to AB. By center from center to chord. Okay. Now, if 1 has to be 90, why? Go in B day. Can you see that people? Okay, so and D for if one is equal to ninety. Go in D day. With A B being parallel to C. Okay. B. Calculate the length of OE. So I got AO to be 25, 25 units. So OE, OA is 25 units, why? Radian. Okay. Then AE is equal to 7 units. Why? Because our AE or, or is given that AE is equal to EB. So is that enough to conclude Pythagoras thing? Yes. So OE squared is equal to 25 squared minus the reason? Pythagoras E1 is equal to 90 degrees You all agree with that? So when I go 25 squared Minus 7 squared You know answer 576 and square root thereof You 24 OE is 24 units. Okay. Let's look at C. The question says calculate CD. But you all agree if I calculate C if I can double it to get CD. Not so. Why? Perpendicular from center to court by six to court. So I need to calculate CF, however, we need to calculate OF as well. We first need to calculate OF in order to apply Pythagoras. But we know that OF is equal to 39. Remember this whole length is 39? 
minus 24, which is 15. Do I need a reasoning? No, no reason required. Why? Because we're not using a geometry theorem. Here. It's 15. So we can say that CF squared is equal to 25 squared minus 15 squared. The reason? Pythagoras with angle F1 equals 90 degrees. 25 squared minus 15 squared, 400. The square root there, I'll give you an answer of 20. So CF is going to give you 20 units. Okay. Will they ever answer the question? No. So that's also 20. So we're giving you an answer of CD to be 40 units. Why? Because it's perpendicular from center to court. By six to court. Okay. Any confusion there? Any questions? Okay. That was number nine. Let's go to um, the next one. Number 10. So we are given chord, um, we're given AB is a chord of a circle, center P. So P is the center of the circle. Well, D, the midpoint of PA. So D, the midpoint sorry, of AB. PA is 50. So if P is A is 50, PF is also 50. And P is also 50. All the radii. Okay, then AB is 96. So this is going to be half of that, which is uh, to, uh, 50. Sorry, 40. 48. Should be 48. So the first question is calculate the length of PD. Alright, so PD, this length, <coughs> not so. So we know that AD is uh, 48. Why? It is given that AD is equal to D. Okay, so that's 48. Alright. Then, uh, in order to apply Pythagoras here, I need to know that D1 is equal to 90 degrees. Why? By sector from center to quarter. By six to four. Okay? So that is 90. So I can apply Pythagoras. That PD squared is equal to 50 squared minus 48 squared. Why? Pythagoras with angle D1 equals 90 degrees. Okay? So it's going to be 50 squared. Minus 48 squared. The square root thereof? 14. 14. Okay. 14 units. Let's look at B. So B, they want you to calculate DE. So DE, this lead here. But we know that PE is equal to what? Okay, so that is 50. So ED is going to be 50 minus 40. Why? The radian. Okay, 50 minus 14 is 36. So there is 36. Okay. Let's look at C. C, they want to know the length of DF. Can you see as DF? So we know that PF is equal to what? PF is also 50. Why? Radii. So 50. So therefore, DF is going to be 50 plus 40. Do we need a reason? No. Which is? 64 units. 
Okay. Any confusion there? D. They want you to calculate BF. BF. Now BF, if I join those lines there, forms another right angle triangle. Not so. So in this right angle triangle, we got D2 to be 90, we got DB to be 48. Um, and this lead here we got to be 64. So I can apply the thing to see, not so. So we can say that um, that would be FB. Eh? So FB squared is equal to 64 squared plus 48. Why? Pythagoras with D2 equals 90 degrees. Okay, earlier on I said it's perpendicular, so yes, it's going to be 90. Okay? So if B, Sixty-four squared plus forty-eight squared. Six uh, thousand four hundred. The square root of that's going to give you eighteen. So that length is going to give you eighteen. E. You want to calculate B E? Okay. That is this thing. Not so? Yes. Do we have it? A triangle looking like this. So that's going to be 36 T B E. So that's your 36 here. And we know that that is 48. So that needs to be 90. So firstly, we're going to say that E D B is equal to 90. Why? It is vertically opposite. Or oh, I could have seen angles on the straight line. Okay, so EB squared is equal to 48 squared plus 36 squared. Why? Pythagoras with EDB equals 90 degrees. So 48 squared plus 36 squared. 3600. The square root thereof is going to give you? 60. 60 units. Right? Yes. Do you guys understand? Yes. Right, and the last one. The good, a good couple of marks on that side. Right? The last one we are told. Now, we'll be, before reading anything here, what does this remind you of? Midpoint here. So midpoint here will probably used, be used here. Okay. So given that PQ is a chord, so if PQ is a chord of circle center O, then what does that mean? That QA is equal to OR. Why? I'm oh, sorry, OQ is equal to yeah, OR. Why? Radian. Okay. So that is already equal. And that is equal. So this line will be parallel to that. Also, OS is equal to half PR. The midpoint here. Okay. Without reading anything else here. Then we are told that R of Q is a diameter. Okay, so that we spoke about already. RS is equal to, sorry, PS is equal to SQ. Prove that angle P is 90 degrees. Okay. But we, what, uh, we know that S1 and S2 is 90. Not so. So we say that S1 is equal to S2, which is equal to 90. Why? Uh -uh. What do you see in the diagram? What is given? By sector. From center. To four. By sector. 
Okay. So now we need going to the angles or corresponding angles. But for this to be corresponding, what do we need? We need these lines to be parallel, not so. So we must actually go with the midpoint theorem. But for the midpoint theorem, we need to say that is equal first. So we say that uh, OQ is equal to OR. Why? Why is that equal? So then, yeah. Right? Now we can say that SO is parallel to PR. Why? The midpoint here. Midpoint here. Okay. Now, since those lines are parallel, therefore angle P is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Corresponding angles with is O being parallel to P. Okay. Any confusion at this point? Okay.